All right, hi class, we're back to working on the uh, conservation of energy web sign problems, rep number four. And I hope you appreciate my efforts. I have drawn a, a, a glorious Tarzan swinging from this vine over the water here. And if you can't tell, that's a crocodile that's in the water. Crocodile, not an alligator, they're different. Um, they want to know if the vine breaks. Well, really, you kind of have to do part B first to sort of figure that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so let's kind of go ahead and do part B. Um, so Tarzan starts here, he swings there. Uh, once again, we're gonna do kind of like a combination problem. Sure, this is gonna have something to do with energy, but it's also got something to do with forces and stuff. Um, right here at the bottom, as he is swinging, let me pick a different color if I can. What forces are acting on Tarzan? Well, we've definitely got weight going down. We've definitely got mg. We've definitely got the vine. The vine is going upwards with t. Now, are these the same value? Maybe it might seem like that is, but it's definitely not. I know that this tension is going to be bigger, because if the tension wasn't bigger, then Tarzan wouldn't continue to do this. Tarzan would end up going down, and that doesn't make any sense. So I know this tension's got to be bigger than his weight. So that can kind of guide your thinking a little bit, too. Uh, whatever Tarzan's weight is, like mg, that's bigger. It's got to be bigger. <coughs> Excuse me. So with just just those two forces on him, and I'm going to call up the positive direction. I know that tension minus mg has to equal, let's call it, f net. Tension minus mg has to equal, well, in this case, our net force is centripetal force. So I'm going to put mv squared over r. Now, I can't I cancel out the m's? No, because there's no m there, so, so we can't do that. So let's just leave this for a minute, and let's go over here instead. We might want to put something in for this V, which we don't have, but we can get. This is where the energy stuff comes in. Tarzan definitely goes down a particular amount. I don't know if it's a variable number. Oh, no, I think everybody has. He goes down by 3.2 meters. So he loses some potential energy. He gains some kinetic energy. Mg, and sometimes you might want to write it as a delta H. I'm not including all of this height here. I kind of don't care about that. I'm going to call this my base level. So the amount he goes down, which is that 3.2, is what we will use to find our V. Our M's can indeed go away. I'll do a little bit more math for you. And we can just take the square root of that to get some V, some number. So we can take that number, and we can put that in there. So if we've got this V, if we've got a radius, which is just the length of the vine, which I'm pretty sure we have, we, we do. Uh, we've got a mass, well, we have Tarzan's weight, so we might have to kind of like, we might have to change his weight into a mass to put into there for these couple. You can just put in the, the weight right there. But we can get the amount of tension that is on the vine there at the bottom. And if you get a number which is greater than what it says it can take, um, the greatest, well, no, they don't really ask for that. Um, they just want to know the greatest force on it. So that's what you're solving for, for letter B. And in my particular case, um, it says like 950 newtons is what the vine can take. Well, I end up getting a number that's less than 950 newtons, so I know that it does not break. If you would have got a number that was bigger than it, then the crocodile eats him. Not an alligator, crocodile. Okay. Um, one, one more, I think. That was number five, and I think there's just a number six. Let me erase this masterpiece. I'm sorry to see it go. I think I had that one numbered wrong. It was not number four, it was number five. So the very last problem, number six, um, is about a bear. I'm not going to draw a bear. We'll just do this real easily. That's a bear. The bear's going to slide down a pole. Maybe this is a circus trained bear. I don't know. Um, but they give you a distance that goes down, and it says it's got a certain speed just before hitting the ground. So if the bear starts up here, it either says from rest, or we can sometimes assume that, we know that the bear's got some potential energy there at the top. 
You could find both of these, and you will find in this case, the PE does not equal the KE. This is not really a conservation pr energy problem. This is kind of like a loss of energy problem, because they ask for what change, uh, somewhere further down. <coughs> we'll, we'll, that's actually part C, we'll get to it. But we can definitely get the, the energy at the top that the bear has, and that's letter A. We can definitely get this at the bottom, that's letter B. These are based just based on our regular equations. And we'll see that they are not equal to each other. Uh, there are two different numbers. In fact, this is a little redundant, but the change in energy or the energy lost is just the difference in the two. If this one was 10 joules and this one's 8 joules, we've lost two. We're missing two. That would be, as they say, um, I know they don't specifically ask for that, sorry. But that is how much energy we would lose. If that's the energy that's lost, that is also equal to the work. Work is FD, which we've got. And so if we've got this much energy lost, and we've got the distance that the bear is sliding, we can get this force here. What's that force from? Probably the force of friction there from the bear sliding down the pole. And that's letter C when they ask for an average frictional force. And that's, uh, and that's it for that set. If you need help with the uh, next assignment about springs and uh, potential energy graphs, I'll do some videos for that one too. <clears throat> don't, don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions.